I'm really excited to discover that the eggs of the assassin bug are hatching. And I wanted to show them to you because these baby insects are quite often unrecognized by people. At a glance, these tiny insects somewhat resemble tiny ants or spiders. But if you have a close look at them, they're really quite distinctive. Firstly, they have bright orange abdomens. And secondly, they have the very distinctive and unmistakable mouth parts of the assassin bug. I talk about assassin bugs a lot. They're a really common predatory insect in my garden. They're also one of the most interesting insects. They're venomous, but their venom system is extremely complicated and they produce two distinctive types of venom. One is used to capture their prey. They use it to inject their victim and it paralyzes and dissolves. So they then suck up the innards as a liquid meal. The other type of venom is used in defense and it creates a really painful bite and is used against any sort of threat such as spiders or uh, birds, maybe rats, it could even be me. So if you do encounter an assassin bug, it's really wise not to handle them because they have an extremely painful bite. I think they're fascinating. I find them capturing all sorts of different types of insects in my garden, in particular the honeybee which they target. They're a stealth predator and they have very slow movements which they use to ambush their prey, quite often sitting and waiting for something to come to them. These young nymphs will go through five molts before they reach adulthood. And it's only when they become adults can they fly and disperse into the landscape. So until then, the youngsters are going to be roaming around through this hedge, capturing whatever prey they're big enough to catch. My name is Catherine Kermode and this is My Wild Backyard. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next adventure from My Wild Backyard.